In this video, we're gonna cover how to install the new WLIR-IR version 1.22, so the last version number here. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded this. Go ahead and accept the uh, Windows Protect your PC. Click on more info, so it'll link by the description there, and then select run anyway. And this will start the installation process. And uh, just as best practice, make sure you just close out any windows. Uh, you're also gonna get a user account control from windows. Go ahead and just click yes. And then you get your language selector. Go ahead and just click okay. And let's go ahead and just uninstall everything. Perfect. And I had an earlier version of this installed here. So I wanna make sure I rerun it. Now that everything's gone from there. And we'll just go restart the process here. So I know a lot of you have the previous version, so go ahead and just install. And it should start the, uh, the C++ libraries. So there's a couple updates to these. If you already have them on your system, it'll just go through as you can kind of see here. It's checking if it exists. It's not gonna install it. If it doesn't, it will install. should be almost set here it takes a couple of seconds now in the previous version you normally have to click next 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 through all of these you got sometimes an error message that it was already here already installed so you would have to close it and it would continue to the next step this version handles upgrading all of those for you if you need it if it's already in your system you don't have to worry about that and it goes through a couple of these here should be done here in a few seconds. Okay, so it'll go through here. If you have anything open, it'll go ahead and just prompt you to close them. In this case, that's my screen recorder. So I'm just gonna say don't reboot until later on. And let's give it a couple more seconds here to continue with its upgrade. Okay, so looks like there's a message here that says uh, Windows installer has found a different version. So go ahead and just click yes, and it'll go through this again here. Now again, it's gonna prompt me that I have things open. I'm gonna say do not close. And you can also use the same pattern here. Uh, don't close until later on. Uh, that way you can get through the whole install and then you do your reboot. And let's go ahead and just close this here. Okay, so we're making progress. So now all of the C++ libraries have been installed. And then we're going to continue to the actual driver so go ahead and click next you can accept the defaults here and install this hasn't changed from the previous uh, version if you do have the previous driver already installed it'll ask you to repair uh, uninstall go ahead and just click repair on that uh, let's continue now to the actual application so again I did fully uninstall the driver and the application from before so I'm just gonna go ahead and click next here and reinstall everything enable a shortcut if you need and we'll go through the installation here and it's actually installing the WLIR application so now that we are set let's go ahead and test it so I'm gonna go ahead and open it and the application has opened up so again if you have uninstalled it the previous version you reinstall the new one you're going to want to go ahead and make your tweaks again specifically for uh, any settings that you had in here as well as uh, any configs maybe you had it in fahrenheit instead of celsius go ahead and make those changes you can make the decimal places as well now you're going to find in this version that the new one is that you can actually have an email set up 
So you want to want to set up your config here. So go ahead and enter your your host name is just your server, whatever the login for that email server is, the password, the port. Uh, some users are having problems with port 465, so I recommend you use port 587. And then you can actually just name it whatever that is. As far as receiver, go ahead and just add the names of people that should be receiving the high temperature alerts. So go ahead and add those in there. All right, so I've gone ahead and added our configs here to our test server. And when you click on confirm, you're gonna get a message that says verification passed. In this case, it worked. And that pretty much gets everything set here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And then just add the receiver. So go ahead and add your email, whatever that may be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add one of my emails here. And select that. And say so you need to add a second colleague in here. Let's say I'm gonna add my colleague, Justin. you'll have all your contacts right in there. So when an alarm triggers, you'll be able to get that notification. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. We're happy to help.